Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here at Image Tutorials. Well guys, uh, today I'm going to fulfill another promise that I made, uh, which is a tutorial request. And in this case, it, the question was how to model a cobblestone road. Now, to be honest, I personally wouldn't model it because, uh, you know, modeling individual cobblestones and laying out a road like that will create a huge poly count. And uh, for that reason, I would probably model the road as a curved plane and uh, add texture to it, bump map, displacement map, or something like that. But nevertheless, I made the promise, so I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to do two scenarios here. One is I'm going to create a, uh, a brick road, and the second one is a uh, cobblestone road. Okay. Now for the brick road, we'll start with that one. We're just going to simply create a rectangle shape, pull it up, hit five for shaded mode. And as you have probably noticed, looking at street bricks, I'll just flatten that a little is that they're not exactly square from the top. So we're just going to select these top edges here. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. We're going to tweak that. We're going to tweak the offset until we have something like this. Because if you do this and you lay them together, you're going to get a complete flat surface. And you will even see that you have bricks created. Okay, So we'll do something like so. All right. Now we're going to approach this from our top view. Okay. We're going to hit F to zoom in and five for shaded mode. Now we're going to go to object mode and we're going to rotate this guy. So hit E and let's rotate that by exactly minus 45 degrees like that. We're going to hit control D to duplicate that. Hit W to move it over. And we're going to hit E, and we're going to rotate that back 45 degrees. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to take this guy, and we're going to move it over there. Move that down until these two line up, if you will. Okay which will give you this. Now, if you take these two and you hit Control D to duplicate, and you move that over until it's aligned right there, and you hit Shift D, and you repeat that a few times, you'll get this pattern, okay? Drag select the whole deal, hit Control D again, Pull that up, and I'll just make sure that they fit. Oops, sorry. There you go. And hit Shift D a couple of times again, right? If you now go to your scene, there you go. That's your brick road. Okay, nice and easy. All right, now how do you deal with the edges of your road? And I'll just uh, explain that as well, okay? You're gonna create a curb, and I'll just show you from one end. So create a cube. Just check it from the side view to make sure that the height's okay. Something like that. Hit F to zoom in. We're going to right click, go to edge, take that edge, edit mesh, and bevel. And then we're going to increase segments to 7. And we're going to tweak the offset to get somewhere around there. Okay. Now, what's normally done is to fill up these holes here, they would take uh, a brick and cut a section off of it okay now what you can easily do right here is take one of these hit control D right 
move that down and move that in. Okay, and I will do this from the top view so you can see it better. Okay, so we're simply going to fit this. And I mean, you're not going to see the stone because it's going to be inside your object here, right? Now, if you wanted to, you could uh, create a gap in between these two, and I'll just show you how to do that. Hit 4 for wireframe mode. We're just simply going to go to vertex, take all of that, and we're going to start to move that until it's inside of our curve, so to speak. So you get something like that, but it's tricky to keep this thing straight, right? So I will just go back. There we go. What I would do is right click object mode, take that guy, hit control D to duplicate, move that up to the next one like so, and then shift D all the way up, which will give you this view right here. Okay, cool. All right, now for our cobblestones. Um, that is kind of tricky, and I'll tell you why. Each and every cobblestone is shaped differently. So if you decide to make something like this, and you want it to look remotely realistically, realistic, sorry, you would have to model hundreds of different cobblestones. And again, I would advise strongly against it. What I would do is model a plane, curve the plane, apply a texture to it, bump map it, displacement map, and so forth. But nevertheless, if you want to create a cobblestone, what you would do is take a polygon cube, pull that up, keep it roughly squared, if you will, all right? And we'll add some subdivision to it. Let's say 10 by 10 by 10, which is already a very high poly count, maybe way too high. We'll do four by four by four to not go completely crazy, right? And then we're just gonna hit three on our keyboard and we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to vertex and we're going to drag individual vertices and start to manipulate them. So pull them in and so forth, right? And we'll do the same here and maybe even just, you know, make sure it looks kind of like a natural shape. And you can already see that this is quite tedious, but also if you want to model this, it would be a lot of work. Now, what you could do here is right click on object mode, select that guy, hit control D, move it over and rotate it, for example, right? The key here is to make sure that nothing is exactly square and so forth kind of move that in. As you can see, size is different. So the next one, control D, move that over. We're gonna flip it again, but this time we're gonna flip it like this twice. So we'd be at 180. Now there is room for some duplication. So I can take these three and control D kind of move them over here and move them up there. And then I would take these two, control D, kind of move that up there and take, uh, I don't know, these two, control D, move that over here. Now, if I select this whole thing, Hit Control D, move that over. 
and hit Shift D a couple of times. Well, you get the picture, right? You'd get something like this. And I'll just copy it a couple of times more. Trying to get just the cobblestones. There we go. Control D to duplicate. Move it up a little. Okay. Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. And as you can see, the poly count is going nuts, like I explained. Now, the thing with this is, I mean, this isn't bad, but it looks too clean because there's repetition in the, in the motif, if you will. Okay. Now, one thing that's absolutely critical when you want to do something like this is a street is never this flat. If you're doing a street, take all of that, go to Mesh, Combine, and as you can see, my system is starting to slow down a lot. Okay. Uh, modify Center Pivot, go to Animation, Create deformers, nonlinear, and select bend. Okay, there's your bend handle. Let's check to see what the orientation is. Okay, and that's not what we're looking for. So we are going to rotate our bend handle until it's uh, minus. 90. Let's try that again. Almost there. We're going to rotate it in this angle. And let's try that once more. Okay, there you go. So that's a bit much, but typically if you would look at a street scene, you would have, let's see, that's a bit much. Okay, you would have something like that. So I'll just select that, edit, delete by type history. That's kind of what you would get, okay? Which looks much more realistic. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, so here is your regular street brick, okay? And this is your cobblestone, all right? Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short tutorial. If you got any questions, let me know. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.